Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss our current paper that was recently published in Current Drug Metabolism on dialyl sulfide. Dialyl sulfide is one of the principal constituents of garlic extract which is being used as food additive. As we all know that garlic is a well-known food staple which is consumed in many parts of the world namely Asia, Africa and Europe. Several studies have shown that dialyl sulfide, which is the principal component of garlic extract, is beneficial in cancer, HIV, diabetes, and Parkinson's disease. Dialyl sulfide has also shown to be effective in reducing toxicity caused by alcohol drinking and toxicity caused by the use of therapeutic drugs. More specifically, dialyl sulfide has shown to reduce toxicity caused by the overdose of painkillers such as ibuprofen. Although it has several beneficial effects, dialyl sulfide itself is also toxic at higher dose. In this paper, we have discussed the mechanism of both beneficial and toxic effects of dialyl sulfide. It shows beneficial effects by inhibiting a drug metabolic enzyme, cytochrome p 456 2 e one which is in short called cyp 2 e one This enzyme metabolizes many foreign compounds including alcohol and painkillers and subsequently causes cell damage. On the other hand, CYP2E1 also metabolizes dialyl sulfide into toxic compounds that leads to apoptosis and ultimately cell death. Thus, dialyl sulfide is beneficial when it works as an inhibitor of CYP2E1 and toxic when it works as a substrate of CYP2E1. Therefore, the goal is to design and develop novel analog of dialyl sulfide, which is a stronger inhibitor but a weaker substrate of CYP2E1. In this paper, we have discussed the need and various ways to design potentially novel dialyl sulfide analog, which can ultimately be used as an adjuvant therapy for several diseases and other conditions that have been discussed in this paper. I believe that this paper would be beneficial for both pharmacologists and medicinal chemists who work in the diverse fields of various diseases discussed in this paper. I hope that you will find this paper very informative to acquire general knowledge in the field and very useful for your line of investigation. Thank you.